The M1 carbine is loaded with a detachable magazine. It can, however, be operated as a single loader. To load a magazine, insert rounds in the magazine so that the base of each cartridge is close to the rear wall of the magazine and all cartridges are properly lined. Magazines are available in either 15 or 30 round capacity. Stripper clips are available for faster loading. To load the magazine with a stripper clip, the magazine adapter must either be extended or attached depending on the clip type. Holding the magazine adapter with a thumb and forefinger on the shoulders, slide the magazine adapter fully on to the rear of the magazine. Holding the magazine firmly in one hand and with the ball of the thumb of the other hand on the powder space on the top cartridge near the clip, press the cartridge straight down with the thumb into the magazine with a firm steady push until the top cartridge is caught by the edge of the magazine. Then remove the clip and adapter. The remaining cartridge space in a 15 round magazine can either be filled by hand or with a partial clip. Dust covers are available for M1 carbine magazines. These are rubber covers that seal the top of the magazine from dust, dirt, and other debris. For this purpose, they are tight and can be difficult to install or remove. A tab is included on the front of the dust cover to aid in installation and removal. Installation is best done starting the dust cover over the back of the magazine, and while holding the tab, the front of the dust cover can be pulled over the front of the magazine. The dust cover can then be pushed down onto the magazine, ensuring they remain aligned. Dust covers must be removed prior to loading the magazine into the carbine. The operation of loading the carbine is performed with the safety on, except in sustained firing. Hold the carbine with the left hand just in front of the magazine opening. With the right hand, insert a fully loaded magazine in the magazine opening, making sure that it snaps into place. With the forefinger of the right hand, pull the operating slide smartly all the way back and release it, closing the bolt. If necessary, the closing of the bolt may be assisted by a push forward on the operating slide handle with the heel of the right hand. The operation of unloading is performed with the carbine on safe. Hold the carbine at the small of the stock with the right hand. Press the magazine lock to the left with the forefinger of the right hand, and at the same time withdraw the magazine from the receiver with the left hand, taking care that it does not drop on a hard surface and suffer damage. With the forefinger of the right hand, pull the operating slide all the way back, noting that a cartridge or empty cartridge case is ejected. If nothing is ejected, glance into the chamber to see that it is empty. Ease the operating slide forward gently. Note that removal of the magazine does not unload the carbine. To operate the carbine as a single loader, make sure the receiver is empty and on safe. Then pull the operating slide to the rear and press down on the operating slide catch with the right thumb, locking the operating slide in its rear position. With the thumb and forefinger of the right hand, insert a single cartridge into the chamber. Pull back on the operating slide handle and release it, allowing the bolt to go forward. The next film of the series will cover a detailed disassembly of the carbine. Thanks for watching! If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then leave us a comment and let us know what you thought or would like to see. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.